seated, be seated. God of heaven, it's in the name of Jesus that we come today on this most holy, high, and hallowed day to lift high your name, that name that is above every name, that even today, that every knee must bow and every tongue must confess. God, we thank you for the day. We thank you for the joy of this day. We thank you for the blessings that have already been ours. Lord, how great thou art. We pause right now to turn you some humble thanks, to thank you for waking us, to thank you for blessing us, to thank you for keeping us. As we come before you, we bow as the angels in glory to reverence and to recognize your sovereignty, who you are and how great thou art. Hallowed be thy holy name. Look on us, God, in the name of Jesus and smile. Have your way in our lives. Forgive us of our sins and our transgressions. We thank you for this worship we thank you for this day that we pause to celebrate your only begotten son who you sent into this world in the likeness of human flesh to save us from our sins and today we pause to celebrate him to thank you for allowing him to come and to correct the ills of our lives we ask your presence with us and the ever abiding presence of the Holy Spirit to touch down here now in our midst and bless us this day. Touch souls, touch bodies, touch minds, touch spirits and strengthen even the more. Bless us with joy today in the midst of our sorrow, peace, in the midst of confusion. Satan, we rebuke you right now. The blood of Jesus is against you. We will have joy. We will have peace. We will have love. We will experience the warmth of the Holy Spirit. Now, Lord, take control of this worship and bless it. Kiss it with your divine presence. Give us a word that would pass even our own understanding speak to our hearts and to our minds bless now God we ask you even the more as we end this prayer you blessed us but bless somebody else there's somebody outside right now in the chilling cold does not have a warming center to welcome them does not have a, a home does not have a family does not have a fountain God bless them prepare a meal for them allow us to be servants today and not gluttonous allow us God as we pass by and see someone in a destitute situation God give us what we need to bless them if it's not silver and gold whatever we have allow us to give it that their lives might be blessed also this is our prayer in Jesus name we pray and ask it amen come on put those hands together everybody everywhere and give God praise oh come let us adore him oh come let us adore him oh come let us adore him cry as the Lord oh come oh ye faithful help me Joyful and triumphant, O oh, come ye, O oh, come ye to Bethlehem. the king 
king of angels oh come let us adore him oh come let us adore him oh come let us adore him Christ the Lord those of you who are wor worshiping with us by way of virtual means we bless God and thank God for each and every one of you we celebrate you as we celebrate in this worship we thank God for your presence in our cyber sanctuary it's offering time where you are listen it is gift giving season it's gift giving time why not because we're celebrating our Savior sow your seed as you ought to go to one of our four platforms even right now our website www.ompmbc.com and give your tithes give your offering give your Christmas gift to your church of $50 listen if you can't do it there go to paypal.com click donations give your tithes give your offering give your Christmas gift to your church of $50 listen if you don't have either of those means uh, you can still even right now write that check out sign it dated on the middle line tell us how much you're giving in tithes in offerings and your Christmas gift to your church even if the spirit moves you to give more than $50 be led of the spirit listen put it in the envelope address it to the church at 6614 South Blackstone Avenue Chicago Illinois 60637 put a stamp on it put it in the mail we're soon to get it otherwise if you're going visiting going dropping off gifts and toys and acting as Santa stop by the church today on the Blackstone Street side same address the first door that you will encounter the black door there's a mail slot in that door place your tithes place your offering place your Christmas gift in that mail slot and we will receive it just because you're not present even on Christmas does not mean that you should be or have to be absent. Don't take advantage of this day by simply giving gifts to others without giving a gift to God for his son Jesus. Amen. Amen. Listen, somebody go get your Bible. I told you an hour. Go get your Bible. Go get your Bible. Go get your Bible. Silent night, holy night, all is calm and all is bright. Listen. Round yon virgin mother and child He was a holy infant so ten and man sleep in heavenly me can y'all help me sing that let's sing it again Sa yeah Land night. <laughs> thank you Lord it was a oh. they were coming from miles around all is come there was a light in the heavens Oh, 
is bright round yonder Everybody, even at home. Silent night. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh, night. Son of God. Son of love's pure light. Love's pure light, radiant beams, radiant beams from thy holy face with the dawn of redeeming grace. With the dawn of redeeming grace. Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Lord at thy birth Jesus Lord at thy Luke chapter 2 verse number 7 Luke chapter 2 verse number 7 the Christmas story and she brought forth her firstborn son, wrapped him in swaddling cloths, and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Young virgin, oh mother, oh only child. So tender and mild. Sleep in heavenly peace. That's some good sleep. Sleep in heavenly God of heaven, bless this word to accomplish that that you have sent it out to do this day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Look at the person sitting beside you across the row, across the room from you and say to them, neighbor, pastor's going to preach about 
let's make room for him oh y'all could turn that volume up it's enough of us in here to say something a little louder than what we're saying it look at somebody on the other side of you in front of you and behind you somebody else in the room with you across the room from you and just shout neighbor oh neighbor pastor's going to preach about let's make room for him clap your hands clap your hands and give God praise Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere you ought to go. Tell it on the mountain, there Jesus. Come on, help me. Y'all know that's my song. Oh, you ought to go tell it on the mountain. It's over the hills and go tell it on the mountain that Jesus oh you ought to go tell it on the mountain over yeah oh you ought to go tell it on the mountain that Jesus listen oh I would not be a sinner I tell you the reason why I'd be afraid my Lord would call me and I wouldn't be ready to die you ought to go tell it on the mountain over the hills and yeah, you ought to go tell it on the mountain that Jesus. Let me say that one more time. Oh, I wouldn't be a sinner. I tell you the reason why I'd be afraid, my Lord call me and I wouldn't be ready to die you ought to go hallelujah you ought to go that Jesus one more time for good men hey you ought to go Tell it on the mountain Oh, I You ought to go Tell it on the Yeah Can you put your hands together Everybody everywhere I don't know about you but I'm happy Yeah Tell it on the mountain that Jesus. Oh, you ought to go. Tell it on the mountain. It's over the hills and the yeah. You ought to go. Tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Be seated, be seated. Let's make room for him. After traveling some 85 to 90 miles from Nazareth to Bethlehem of Judea, for Joseph and his family 
only to go there to be included in the updated census. This is the message they receive when they try to get a room at the local caravansary. There is no room in the inn. The verse does not make mention of any one other than Joseph and Mary who are present at this local inn, local caravansary, who are trying to check in so that they can be counted. The amazing aspect of this census and this day to which Joseph himself only was summoned but the woman who is espoused to him with child travels the distance with him to go to Bethlehem of Judah only to hear the words permeating from the lips of the innkeeper that there was no room not just for Joseph but for them in the inn. The them not only includes Joseph and Mary but it also includes he who is lodged within the physical anatomy of Mary who is visibly seen as being with child. The disciples were not included in the them because they were not present, nor were the shepherds included. Those who received this word of rejection only happen at this particular point to be no one other than Joseph and Mary who is espoused to him and who is with child. However, there was no room in this inn signifying that there was not a room unavailable but that there was hear me now no suitable space available for Mary to give birth to her firstborn son who is about to be born in Joseph's homeland Bethlehem let me rewind my tape, help you to come up to speed and help you to understand something perhaps you've never heard before in this type of dissertation. I say again, there were, there was a room in this inn that was available to be occupied but not by them. Oh, somebody going to catch me in a minute because the phrase does not in any way suggest that there was a lack of hotel space because there was space available, but because of how prophecy preach them I think I will describe his coming and being born in a manger this humble place of his birth solidified that truth this verse does however share the fact that again there was a lack of suitable space for Mary to give birth Look at your neighbor and tell them, let's make some room for him. Let, let, let's, 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 let's make some room for him. That, that there being no room in this one crude public overnight caravansary lodging place in Bethlehem does not even declare this as the reason for the rejection on the part of the much maligned innkeeper. But no matter what the innkeeper's rejection, within this inn, again, let me help you with writer's block. There was no suitable space for Mary to deliver her firstborn son. 
with this being done to our Lord and Savior Jesus, being him being treated in such a way at his advent, the question becomes, as I prepare to close, how do we today make room for the Lord our Savior when our lives, actions, and attitudes are suggesting that we too have no room? Look at your life. Look at your service to God. Look at your prayer life and assess your own life and ask yourself, do I have room? I didn't say need, I said room for the Savior. Because brothers and sisters, I need somebody to understand that the word is even today there is no room in the end. But the question becomes, is there room anywhere? See, 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 this is what we got to understand. I'm, I'm about to close, y'all. Jesus, the Son of God, has to be born somewhere. I say he has to be born somewhere that, 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 that somewhere does not need to be on any street that that birthing place does not need to be just any anywhere which means that some room must be made to receive and to welcome him Again, take a quick survey of your life and do a quick assessment to see where any space is available in your life to receive him. Why, why, why are you asking? Why are you posing that question, Reverend? Because it's better to have him and not need him than to need him and not have him. However, as I prepare to close, you must understand that he doesn't need to be housed. He needs somewhere to be born for the fulfillment of the scripture. And therefore, you will hear Luke, this great physician, declaring as he looks from a medical perspective, even from the point of a gynecologist he says and she brought forth her firstborn son pains that are unfamiliar to her stretches dilations that are unfamiliar to her because remember she's a virgin and then remember secondly that this is her firstborn son uh here yes uh Luke says let's go uh she brought forth her firstborn son and uh, she brought him forth in a time and a place where he was not readily welcomed. Because in, yeah, I'm feeling something now, in that place uh, and in that uh, in there were rooms available, but there was no suitable space. So I close by asking the question, yeah, and suggesting that if we are going to 
make room for him first of all we've got to know that we're not uh, making room for just anybody look at your neighbor and say neighbor we're talking about him uh, y'all missed it have I got to win it? you there anybody here wanting to make room for him look at somebody else and say neighbor won't you let him in oh i feel the holy ghost there now won't you let him in but how do you do it reverend yeah the first thing you got to do if you're gonna let him in and make room for him we will need to first of all open up our heart I heard him say behold I stand at the door and knock if any man will hear my voice and open the door I'll come in and sup with him and he with me tell somebody you got to open your heart and when you open your heart the second thing you got to do if you're gonna make room for him is you got to clean up your act I used to hear my mama say when I was a boy get in trouble you better clean up your act you've been doing what you've been doing long enough and it is not suitable to welcome uh, him in uh, but if you uh, oh, 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 <laughs> yeah want him in uh, you need to open um, your heart uh, and then clean up uh, your act uh, but fairly uh, as I go on uh, to my seat uh, I want um, somebody uh, to hear me say if you're going to let him in and make room for him, you got to open your heart. I heard Paul said, it's simply this, confess with your mouth, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. You got to open up your heart, clean up your act. Um, get uh, rid of some things uh, in your life uh, kick the devil out uh, and then thirdly uh, get ready uh, to receive him uh, is there anybody here uh, know the Lord uh, is on his way I wish I had a witness somewhere yeah oh oh making I used to hear the old folks say preparations yes to receive my Lord have a gallery witness is there anybody here made any preparations anybody here made up in your mind I want Jesus in my life I want Jesus in my heart yeah anybody here know when you get ready he will come in won't he do it but let me tell you what happens when he comes in he brings joy did anybody hear what the, the shepherd said when they saw things happening? Reverencing and respecting the birth of the Savior of the world. They said, peace. Yeah, yeah. Ow. <laughs> Goodwill toward men. Look at somebody else one more time and say, neighbor, no manner 
who doesn't welcome him won't you let him won't you let him in open up your heart open up your mind yeah. don't be afraid to let him in because when he comes in he'll make every thing out all right won't he do it i said won't he do it won't he make it all right won't he do it won't he turn things around yeah Uh, he will, he will. He will, he will. He will, he will. He'll come in. Uh, yes, he will. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Somebody need to tell him, Lord, I'm available. Lord, if you want somebody, here am I. Y'all act like y'all don't need him. I don't know how many times I told the Lord, come by here. Good Lord, come by here. I don't know how many times I've said to the Lord, stop by here. If you don't stay long, anybody here ever felt his presence? Anybody here ever seen him working in your life? Shout it <laughs> I'm done. Clean out the closet. Clean out the clutter. Clean out the criticism. Clean out the conflict and the chaos. And get ready to receive the Christ child. The doors of the church are open both in person and virtually there's anybody want to receive him you want to make room to receive him you got to get rid of those old foggy ways you got to confess your sin you got to want him as a part of your everyday life not just your Sunday life but your every day life and if you confess him and if you accept him he will I said he will come in there's so much going on in life today that we don't need to keep him on the outside or on the periphery we need God on the premises God come in Come into my life. Come in to stay. Come in, Lord Jesus. I pray. You're in the virtual audience and you want to receive the Lord Jesus Christ. The doors of the church are open. All you got to do is go to our website, www.ompmbc.com, and click that button that says Become a Member. Put your name and your phone number definitely and before the day is over someone will have called you to wish you a merry christmas 
to counsel with you, to pray with you, and to welcome you into our family. You're here in this sanctuary. The doors of the church are open. All you got to do is stand to your feet. Mm. Everybody put your hands together. Amen. Listen, let me share with you before we go off. I want to share with you that our January daily Bible reading will be Psalms 100 every day. We're still reading. We started Lamentations today and we'll read Lamentations until the uh, 30th, the 30th will read 2nd John, the 31st will read 2nd John, and we will begin on the 1st of January reading Psalms 100. Next Sunday is New Year's Day. Amen. New Year's Day. 2023. Amen. Somebody ought to tell 2023, get ready for me. 2023 get ready for me because I'm coming on I'm I ain't gonna die yet I'm coming on I'm coming on 2023 listen listen no matter what you do our worship is going to be again next Sunday at the 12 o'clock noon hour I'm gonna do my best again to get you in and out as early I'm not gonna promise you an hour because we're going to do the Lord's Supper service but we're gonna be real close to the hour of worship. Amen. Want you to plan now to attend our New Year's Day worship on Sunday at noon. You can begin calling to make your reservations begin today. No excuse for the cold or inclementness. It's going to be 50 next Sunday and all of that other stuff. Even if it is inclement, you still, somebody went out this week while it was cold, while it was below zero and went shopping and buying groceries and going here and going there. Listen, it's a low down, dirty shame. And Reverend said it, that we can make all kind of excuses and reasons is not to come to the Lord's house but we can do any and everything we want to do under the sun listen it is the Lord who's keeping us hello somebody it is the Lord who is blessing us and we need to remember we need to remember that and stop playing with God amen listen on the second Sunday second Sunday in January we're going to install of all of our officers Leaders, head leaders, I will talk to you soon if, about uh, the meeting we're going to have. I'm going to have a meeting with all leaders. And guess what? Because COVID is still out there. RSV is out there. Influenza is out there. You need to talk to your children, your grandchildren, your nieces, nephews, and get you logged on to Cisco WebEx. Cisco Webex, I'm going to have a virtual meeting. I'm going to send you a link and I'm going to need you to connect. I'll send you the date and the time that we will do that. But it will definitely 
take place this week prior to Sunday. All right. I need you to be available. And when Reverend texts you, I need you to text me back. And let me know that you have received my text. All right. I'm expecting all officers without fail. It is a mandatory meeting. We're going into 2023 and we're saying to God, less of me and more of thee in 2023. Now, listen, brothers and sisters, we're getting ready to go. I do want you to be very peaceful today. Amen. Uh, kill your attitude. Be peaceful today and as peaceful as you can humanly possibly be. It's not about you today. So if you don't get the gift or if you don't get the gift that you want, listen. Be peaceful. Let there be peace on earth. Amen. When you go out to take your gifts and things like that, you get ready to go where you're going, the day to celebrate. Listen, if somebody cuts you off, don't cuss today. Be peaceful. Amen. Just let them have it. Let them, let them have it. But do your best to be peaceful. Be as calm as you can possibly be. Be as joyful as you can possibly be. Be and enjoy yourself, enjoy your family, enjoy your day. Amen. Listen, this is Pastor Redwell Sr. Wishing all of you all here and out there a very merry, merry Christmas. And next Sunday, I'll tell you Happy New Year. Amen. Come on, put those hands together and let's give God praise. Until Tuesday, we'll be on prayer at 5.55. Come on, darling.